For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. For the past week, thousands of activists and members of people's movements have been mobilizing daily in Glasgow, demanding concrete solutions for the climate emergency. The Scottish city of Glasgow is the venue of the UN Climate Change Conference of Parties, or COP26, which commenced on October 31st. On Saturday, November 6th, as part of efforts to bring the agenda of people's movements to the fore, activists from across the world marked a global day of action to demand climate justice. Hi, I am Ming. And I am Ina, and we're part of Goma. Uh, uh, it's a youth movement of the Lucas Party in Belgium. And we're here in Glasgow with a delegation of 200 students and uh, uh, people uh, because we want to give a big uh, signal uh, to politicians and governments um, that it's time for uh, climate justice now. And our uh, message is uh, save the climate, stop it polluters. Yes, so the reason we chose this slogan is because we find it very important that the climate uh, policy that we have is structural, social and ambitious. So we cannot uh, leave people behind, we cannot fall back into individual actions such as you know, eating less meat or taking more in the car, that's important, but we also need structural social change that also incorporates the workers and their lived experience in our climate struggle. Despite heavy rain and extreme cold weather, more than 100,000 people hit the streets. Indigenous organizations, frontline communities, trade unions, youth groups, peace and anti-war organizations, communist and left organizations, and different environmental groups took part in the march. While the participants represented a wide spectrum of causes, they were united around the recognition that without system change, it would be impossible to save the planet and advance climate justice. Hello, my name is Fiona. I'm the Europe coordinator for BDS campaign, Boycott Divestment uh, Movement, uh, which is a Palestinian-led global anti-racist movement. Uh, so we're here today in Glasgow because Palestine is a climate justice issue. Uh, Israel is uh, making himself and itself like green, but uh, it's totally greenwashing because uh, they are like using uh, Palestinian natural resources, destroying Palestinian land, violating rights of indigenous Palestinian people. They are extracting gas and natural resources from Palestine uh, and all of this with the complicity of European governments and the European Union. So we're here today to this stop to the greenwashing and to, uh, to really say that gas, uh, natural gas is a fossil fuel and we need uh, to really work together, unite our struggle uh, and uh, and be all united uh, for climate justice. The mobilization in Glasgow proceeded mostly without incident. However, around 3 p.m., over 100 police officers forcibly removed a contingent largely comprised of members of the Young Communist League of Britain. At the COP26 uh, People's March, the police have blocked the road and have arrested a group of people. Uh, the people have been chanting, let them go. They don't want to move, they don't want the march to continue. Uh, they are very much convinced that uh, they don't want to abandon a section of the marchers. It looks like it's a standoff. The police are not going to budge. Other policemen are saying that the march must go on. But this is the nature of democracy, it looks like, uh, in the United Kingdom. Activists allege that the United Nations and the fora in which the issues pertaining to climate change are discussed have been unwilling to hold countries such as the US and the European Union accountable. This is unsurprising, considering that the COP26 had among its primary sponsors companies such as Unilever, National Grid and Microsoft, and attendees and speakers such as Jeff Bezos and CEOs from major oil and gas companies. Hi, I'm Julie from Belgium, from the uh, Movement for International Solidarity called Intel. And we are here because we strongly oppose that multinational companies are getting a seat at the table in the climate summit. And it's really scandalous. For example, Unilever is one of the biggest sponsors of the COP26, but it's also a highly investor in palm oil that is destroying rainforests in Colombia, in Philippines, basically all over the world. And it's also violently expelling indigenous populations and farmers from their lands. It makes no sense that they should get a say or a positive image from this COP. So that's what we are fighting against. 
And international solidarity is so important because those companies are also organized internationally. So we as people, as working class, should also stick together and support one another. So that's why we are here. I'm here with a coalition of uh, environmental and peace groups and we're really calling out the governments for military carbon emissions, which are huge. The Pentagon is the single largest emitter of carbon as an institution in the world. Um, in, in the UK, there's something like 40 million cars is produced by the UK's military, uh, the same amount of emissions as 40 million cars. So we're talking about a huge carbon footprint, and at the moment it's excluded from many of the reporting that countries give of their emissions. There's no requirement for military to be included. So you've got this huge, what we call an elephant in the room, of, of the military and the carbon footprint being excluded from climate agreements. So we can't actually have progress on climate change unless we start to talk about the military's uh, emissions. And that's part of our call here, is that they should firstly be transparent about the amount of emissions they produce, and secondly, that they should start to reduce the emissions in line with the science, which means reducing also the size of the military. And of course, that's a big issue because if we start to reduce the military spending, we've actually got some of the money we need for things like a Green New Deal that many people are calling for here. So there's a real opportunity to, to say, to hear, to say that the military can, be, can, be, uh, can only be part of the solution if they are being reduced and the money has been diverted to what we actually need right now, which is uh, protecting our planet and protecting the people. The frustrations felt by movements, communities and organizations with the COP26 process and the attitude to climate change goes beyond the discussions over the past week in Glasgow. The summit itself is discussing agreements that have been made over the past two decades. During this time, frontline communities have been engaged in constant resistance in order to protect themselves and their land. Members of these communities have been ignored, criminalized and in the most severe cases killed. Meanwhile, the People's Summit for Climate Justice, which aims to bring together the climate justice movement to discuss, learn and strategize for systemic change, has kicked off on November 7th.